Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, has the power over Prince Charles to subdue him when he's about to lose his temper, a former royal butler has claimed. Prince Charles has paid tribute to his darling Duchess of Cornwall, the future Queen Consort, for her steadfast support as his mother the Queen was shown at work to mark her historic Platinum Jubilee. Heir to throne Charles heralded the Queen for how her devotion to the welfare of all her people inspires still greater admiration with each passing year. But former royal butler Dickie Arbiter has claimed Camilla holds powers over Charles. Speaking to BBC News, Mr Arbiter said, She's been a tremendous support for him, she reads his every mood, his every quirky stance. She's able to subdue him if he's about to lose it. She's very good for him, she's good for the Queen, she's very good for the country and the people. We're lucky to have her and I think the Queen sees that in her and that's why she made her a Royal Lady Knight of the Garter and why she said last night she wishes Camilla to be known as Queen Consort because that is the only title the wife of a king can have and should have. She doesn't have any powers but she has the power over him to see that he's okay and that is what is important. There was fierce debate and controversy in the run-up to Charles and Camilla's wedding 17 years ago over whether the then Mrs Parker Bowles would one day be Queen. The wife of a king automatically becomes a queen consort and only a change in legislation will prevent her from doing so. But royal aides insisted, when Camilla married Charles in 2005, that she did not want to be queen and said originally that the former Mrs Parker Bowles intended to be known instead as Princess Consort, the first in British history, instead. But the careful use of the verb to intend left this open to change in the future. Any mention of Princess Consort was removed from Charles's website during a revamp in 2018. Camilla was blamed for the breakdown of the prince's marriage to Diana, Princess of Wales. But in the decades after the divorce, the untimely death of Diana in 1997 and Camilla's acceptance into the firm, the public mood towards the Camilla has softened. The son can reveal the prince is determined his wife Camilla will be crowned queen consort on the day he takes the throne. Such a move would give her significantly higher status, similar to that held by the late queen mother and any plans he has to refuse to give the title of Duke of Edinburgh to his brother Edward are likely to be met with anger by wife Sophie, it is claimed by friends of the couple. Former BBC royal correspondent Brian Hoey says Prince Charles has already let it be known he would like the number of royals attending his coronation to be trimmed slightly from the roll call when his mother was crowned. Back in 1953, of the 8,000 in attendance, 39 were royals, including several of the Queen's first cousins once removed. Now the next coronation is looking very much like the blueprint for Charles's hopes for an overall slimmed-down monarchy. How this might pan out was thrust into the spotlight this week after it emerged that Philip's wish for his title of Duke of Edinburgh to go to his youngest son, Edward, after the Queen's death is unlikely to happen. When Philip died in April, his titles, including the Duke of Negation Edinburgh, automatically went to Charles. And he plans to keep it so. A courtier revealed, the prince is the Duke of Edinburgh as it stands and it is up to him what happens to the title. It will not go to Edward, Blue Circle, read our Royal Family Live blog for the latest updates. This would come as a big blow to Edward and his wife, Sophie Wessex, who visited the Queen to comfort her shortly after Philip's death. A close friend of the couple told the son, both Edward and Sophie would be genuinely perplexed, very hurt and disappointed at being treated this way. They have both done nothing to deserve this sort of treatment from Charles quite the opposite when you look at their impeccable service to the crown. I do know that Charles has long held concerns over the closeness that is implied between the Queen and Sophie. Effectively, he knows how it looks, an outsider like Sophie, despite a rocky start, has actually become closer to his mother than he ever will be. Another friend added, this may be giving Charles some angst in terms of the Wessex popularity. Charles is obstinate and he would defy his late father's expressed wishes if he felt it necessary. But for goodness sake let's hope he won't do that. He's got enough on his plate negation keeping the family together without risking another royal faction moving away from the core.